then what happens? There is no consciousness. Or if that savage awakens, he becomes the same. If that savage awakens, he becomes the same. There is a thin in between line between a savage and a saint. I remember when I was a very small boy, I was a savage. I was very strong. Deliberately on the road I would hit my shoulder and that fellow will do this and I would look back and smile. I was a savage. Absolute brute. So I cried and cried one day and said, Oh God, I said to my master, You are there every day with me and still I am savage. He smiled. He said, Only from savage rivers electricity can be drawn easily. So, what I mean to say is, unless you are savage, unless your lower nature is bursting out, there is no hope of being a saint. And there is all the possibility of you savage being savage all your life. There are both the possibilities. But what I mean to say, you know, Balmiti and they have such stories, no? They call it, you know, suddenly they start Rama, 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 whatever it is, huh? Uh, it is laid in the fasters that the more savage you are, the greater the possibility of becoming a saint, the greater the possibility of remaining a savage. See, so when you have got your lower nature that is not very strong, you are content with routine of prayers, routine of morals, routine of duty, and then you develop a conscience. But when the savage is overpowered, you create an essence. And that essence is the energy of the essence of consciousness. That makes you break through and communicate with your own self. So when one drops of conscience, one must know that one is savage in a little measure. But then you come across a real savage, smile and say that tomorrow you might become a very great thing if he breaks through. This savage that I, we are talking about are the higher forces that create impediments in our way. See? The higher forces they obstruct our path in various manner and bring out the savage from us. But when the savage comes out, and if you are fortunate that you are held by some master and taken ahead, then your savage becomes essence. Essence is the very platform from which you take the next step to establish communication with your soul. Hmm? So you understand what conscience is and what essence is. Now, some understand essence as self, it is not true. But remember, it is an in-between ground the connecting link between the material and the spiritual aspects of a human being. I will give you objective form of essence. I will give you an objective form of essence. And that is three step evening This is the in-between ground if you can go by three step rhythmic breathing for 24 hours, you will create essence and your next step will be communication with your own soul. Without formation of essence, 
the body brain system cannot wake up in 3a its quantity is little and whenever in a spurt of conscious progress it is utilized one is lukewarm again in 3b and 3c state it is produced abundantly the self never dries up you know what is it I don't know whether that is your experience or not. <coughs> When you are in 3A beginning state, and if the energy of the essence of consciousness is being generated in a trickle, then suddenly you get up one day at four o'clock, start japa, do something, something, something. Very soon the energy is used up. And secondly, you get up at seven o'clock. You forget everything what you did yesterday. Then you are very sad. You repent. You cry. You make a resolution again. I will get up tomorrow. If by that time again a little trickle of that energy is generated, you get up at four o'clock. Again, you will do something. By afternoon, everything is dry up again. Again, you forget yourself. And everything, and this will happen to you for a few thousand lifetimes. Take my guarantee. This will happen to every one of us a few thousand lifetimes. We'll cry and we'll walk and we'll forget and we'll cry and we'll walk and we'll forget and it will go on and it will go on and it will go on. Because three A stage will require fifty, sixty thousand lifetimes. When you will awake, you will require twelve, fifteen lifetimes to go to three B. <coughs> But those ten, fifteen lifetimes will be awake. Perhaps this is the first lifetime. Fifty, sixty thousand times of everything. See, it is not easy. It is not easy. It is like some very, very great, precious store that you are hiding somewhere, or you have lost some man you are seeking. And how you will forget sleep and eating and everything till you find that, unless you are in that state to awaken. It is not easy to awaken. You will be a good man for a few million years. You will be a good man, but that's not enough. It's not awake enough to awake. To remain a good man, you will remain a good man. And a good woman, but that is not enough to awaken. We don't like that at all. We do have an incredibly intelligent body-brain system. I repeat, we do have an incredibly intelligent body-brain system. But do we ever think? That there is some greater intelligence behind this body brain system. Though we must not underestimate our body brain system, especially for playing mischief, that it cannot remember itself. Hmm? Our body brain system, but it cannot remember itself because why? It thinks it has nothing to gain from me. Because it thinks it has nothing to gain from it. If it can, that means if our body brain system were to remember, if it can, then soul or divine fragment would be redundant to it. Do not underestimate the human body brain system. We can, to a certain extent, calm the beast. That is our body brain system. Also, never underestimate the instinctive center, the solar plexus, the remnant of the animal instincts. 
it is always poised on the mind any effort to remain awake. This center attempts to destroy hope. Because one dines 80,000 times in one's lifetime, not including snacks, it is the best time to remain awake. Huh? <coughs> they will be the thing. Because one dines 80,000 times in one's lifetime, not including snacks, it is the best time to remain awake. But if, this is why ancient wisdom requires that while eating, one must observe silence. But eating in excess prepares the body brain system for sleep. This center pretends the state of full awareness. To expect the center to be able to experience the awake state is to expect the cow to jump over the moon. Yet, yet, when eating, this center is very receptive and one can work on this center. Yet, when eating, this center is very receptive and one can work on this center. The Bible says, for now we see through a dark, we see through a glass darkly, which means that we experience the world through our body brain system as if through a dark glass. Paul's personality is opposed to controls and restraints. To awaken, you must struggle with the weakness each moment presents. <coughs> Paul's personality thinks one has to be in a temple or at an isolated retreat in order to reach higher awareness. Paul's personality is a compilation of, uncon of unconscious acts acquired from others. The real part of us is strong. The real part of us is strong. Paul's personality has numerous masks Restriction were not given by higher forces. One would remain automatically, one would remain automatic and asleep always. When higher centers will develop, false personality will question them because his existence is then threatened. False personality does not see itself as false. There is no situation that cannot serve one as an opportunity for making an effort to remain away. You have to examine what takes its place and experience an internal civil war. To help you in fighting this internal civil war, with each sincere aspirant has to fight, each one of you have been given various techniques like three SRB, refining exercise, etc. Why does this civil war take place? Slowly in life, after life, one progresses from diagram 1 to 2 and then to 3A. One is able to generate a higher type of energy, the energy of the essence of consciousness in small trickle. When it rises up, the aspirin fails and civil war takes place. Again the energy is generated and the aspirin gets a little success. And then it rises up again, the aspirin fails again. There are regrets, there are resolutions, all to no way. When the energy dries up, it happens thousands of times in life after life. Yes. In some one life, as the struggle continues, one meets or come across a book, a teacher, and many a teacher that be that would mislead. These are the symptoms of 3A. It is a long journey. We shall have two more meetings on this. The idea is to wake up. How to wake up. How to remain awakened. They say in China, the mothers had to work as well as the fathers. So the little baby was given a touch of opium. 
so he could sleep 18-20 hours and the mother would be able to work and come back. I think when we are born, nature must be putting a spoon of opium in us so that we remain asleep whole life and not disturb God. We are under the influence of opium. As long as this influence lasts, all this will be meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. We will go home, I guarantee 99.9% will not read again this one. Because the opium will start working. I can't help it, then I can't help it. <laughs> they say there is. How oh, effective it is, I don't know. We shall try and find out. But there is no hope in religion. There is no hope in prayers. There is no hope in Japa. There is no hope in going to temples, churches, mosques. There is no hope in anything. There is only hope in remembering yourself. Because your prayers, your religion, your Japa or whatever is mechanical. You are not awake. Going to the temples, it's not that you are awake. Nothing will help you. You must make an attempt to awake. There is no other way. You will ask me, how can I be awake? That is why I say, can you do three atavi? Can you do this three step with big breathing? Can you remember to do it? Otherwise keep something like this. Every eight minutes, it will give you a, a, a note. Wake you up and say, you are not doing your three-step rhythmic breathing. You have to remember to do three-step rhythmic breathing. You have to remember to remain awake. Nothing else will do. Nothing. We will continue with this in two more meetings. Otherwise, we will all develop a conscience and will be happy with your religion, your morals, your duties. Don't be afraid of the savage to come out from you. Let the savage come out. There's a chance you might become safe. Do not restrict yourself and become good. Being good helps no one. Become a rogue or become saintly. The middle path of being good does not help. I am telling you this honestly. You have to have the power of a rogue to break through. Otherwise you can't break through. The spaceship goes because of the brute power it creates. You see, it likes gravity. It requires something very strong in you to fight. Your automatic life. This automatic life is so much inbuilt in you that unless you make a very strong effort, you can't break away with it. You will remain automatic. When you eat, if the lights go, you will still put the food in your mouth, isn't it? It's automatic. It will go like this. You won't search your mouth like this. No. This is automatic. You see? So your life has become like this only. It's automatic. You have to break this automation that is in you. 
That is why I have given you as a challenge to remember to do this three-step rhythmic breathing. This will break your automatic movements. Will one day make you awake. You will burst from this sleep one day. Remember this objective thing of breathing, three-step rhythmic breathing. Do it for a few seconds now, mind, but again come back to it. Again forget it, again come back to it. This coming back again and again and again and remembering it will break your sleep. That is important. Why am I asking you every now and then, are you doing your three SRBs? Three SRB is not an exercise. Three SRB is a means to break your automatic action and make you awake. That is why it is important, not otherwise. You see? Anyway. We shall continue and see how we can make an attempt of it. Any questions? What is excellent? Something that happens to you when you are mindful. Materially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, Accident means you are not aware. You meet with an accident when you are not fully aware. If you are fully aware, you see the coming on of the accident and take a step. In month of May when I was on a holiday, in family, in the evening I had gone out for a walk, a truck from the opposite direction to overtake something or to save somebody came right upon me like this. If I would have been a little sleepy, I would have won. But because I was a little awake, I jumped to one side. And so I avoided exit. Accident means you are a little awake to avoid what can happen otherwise. Hmm? So if you have to be free from the law of accident means you have to be awake. Exactly. That is why in most religions when you are eating you have not to talk. Not only you have not to talk, but you have to put your mind deeper deep inside you. Hmm? Take various questions. This is food. Can there be other type of food? Can there be spiritual food? Like that you go on thinking, thinking as you eat on various subjective matters. And it inspires certain things in you at that time. Because We eat when we are not hungry, so this will not arise. In most cases we eat even when we are not hungry. But if you eat when you are really hungry, then something opens inside. Hmm? At that time, a little thought on this subject. It opens up something inside. You see? But if you eat when you are not hungry, it's just months, so there's no time to think even on any subject, see? But to eat when you're really hungry, you have a receptive moment when something opens within you. If at that time you take up some thought, some superior thought, it will help you a lot. But on the dining table, the family's woes are discussed. He got only 60%, he failed in this subject, he was never doing this, all this is on the dining table. Unfortunate. This is to tell you to awake. Understand? 
Then we'll meet next month when? Yeah. You want that for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It has no momentum. This has no momentum. It requires push. Not that it will not go there, but it requires a push. Three S R T has no momentum. It requires automatic. It requires a push, and if you give that push by remembering it. One day you will have it. That will be the ultimate result. Is that called establishment? That is called establishment. Then you are established in three A. It requires push. Just as to be away, it's not possible without the push. To do three A study is not possible without the push. Constant push. Otherwise, you do for ten minutes, you will not go to eleven minutes. You push further, you go to 15 minutes and not to more than 15. You push further, you go 20 minutes. It was constant push. It has no momentum of its own. Wrong breathing, wrong doing, going down the slope has no momentum because nothing. It never happens. But going up the slope requires momentum. Somebody has to push. You get my point. Three S R T is going up the slope. Doing wrong breathing is going down the slope. It has no momentum. It is not automatic. Anything wrong can be automatic. Anything right requires push, momentum. That is why we don't do what is right. We do what is wrong because wrong does not require any push. Right requires push. Hmm? It is not a right. It is not a right. It is an effort. The numbering and effort. It's not there. And so when do we meet? Thirty-eight. 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 You see, I have no momentum. You have to push me. By nature, I have no momentum. My lazy body and mind. I don't like it that way. What do you want? What is the date you want? This is thirtieth. Okay, twenty-third and twenty-fifth. Done. Thank you. This Saturday. This Saturday. If your state is a state of awakeness, you will come. If you are asleep, you will not come. Day after tomorrow, Saturday, those who are awake will come. Those who are asleep will not come. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yes.